I we are going to see the T shoot ticket number 16 this is the last ticket we are going to see uh, in for dumps that is to clear the T shoot exam okay and one more queue we have this the IPv6 ticket okay look at the question here R1 loopback address that is 226 sorry 2026 and uh, triple one colon one do not able to reach this 128 bit address from DSW2 to look at this it is not in client 1 or client 2 it is not from distribution switch so the ticket is straight away saying that uh, you are not able to uh, ping the R1's loopback interface address from distribution switch 2 so the ticket start from here okay let me check from here ping this IP anyway it's not able to reach anyway we will ping from here to confirm it okay you are not able to reach here as usual we said if you are not able to reach from here just to go towards upward and ping actually I used to do it from R4 but it will be able to reach from R4 mm. that's why I'm coming down okay so it's clearly saying that the problem much between R4 and R3 that is distribution switch one might be in because the routes are not learning to distribution switch to to go to that R1 okay. see report any routes learn within fast ethernet 0 slash 4 this is report I think that is the interface it's connected R4 let me check so IP interface brief see fast ethernet 0 slash 1 these comments are not coming let me check what interface it's connected to DSW2 you want to check that see fast ethernet 0 slash 14 of 0 slash 1 you can observe here you are not learning any route from this all it's learning from 24 that is fast ethernet 0 slash 24 that is this all routes you are learning through rip from distribution switch 1 that is it. through distribution switch 1 you are learning this route through rip but why not you are learning these routes from these interfaces whether where the rip was enabled here YSPF was enabled it was enabled. Let me go to R4. So it means that there is a IPv6. You know that the redistribution issue hmm? because it's a not wrong autonomous system number. Rip, there is no autonomous system number. Okay. Uh, rip, they are using the IPv6 rip here. Let's see what type of rip configuration done here. IPv6 rip. The name they used to call rip underscore zone. Okay, they <coughs> they enabled it on loopback fourteen. They enabled rip. Okay. They enabled rip on fast Ethernet zero slash one zero also. They enabled it. Okay. They enabled on this fast Ethernet zero slash zero rip and loopback interface. They enabled rip. We no need to concentrate this one. See, concentrate on this two part. They enabled IPv6, OSPF, the process ID6, and they configure router ID and log adjacent sense. So, already they enabled IPvOSPF6 on the respective interfaces. Okay, they advertised loopback 4 with the area 34 in IPv6. That's the only interface which is facing towards R3. Okay. And loopback interview advertised in RIP. But 
still you are not learning any roots from R4 to distribution switch 2. The reason behind is see, you need to redistribute. Whenever you are using two different protocols, you need to redistribute mutually from one to another. Here, they redistributed OSPF into RIP, but they didn't redistribute RIP into OSPF. That's what we are going to do. IPv6 router OSPF 6 redistribute RIP. What is the name? Sorry, didn't copy it proper. Redistribute, copy, rip zone. Then you got to specify battery. Battery, let it be anyone. One or two. Redistribute connected next episode. Now we go to DSW. Let me check whether you are done any good. Still, you are learning R4 only because the thing is uh, all the redistributed route into distribution switch only, and the distribution switch one will redistribute because the uh, RIP was enabled in 24 interface only, not towards connected to R4. Okay. Let ping the given IP now 2026 102.1. Yeah, and the issue. Actually, the thing is, RIP is enabled on these interfaces. So, this is learning the RIP route from this uh, interface that is fast Ethernet 0 slash only, only the internal. It's not learning any route of OSPF through and distribution switch 1. So, distribution switch not learned any route of OSPF version 3 route through RIP. So, it is not redistributing here. So, now the RIP route is redistributed to OSPF 1. Well, previously the OSPF route was uh, in under OSPF uh, the RIP route is not redistributed but under RIP the OSPF was re uh, redistributed so you were able to le learn the OSPF routes but the, the router R1 not able to learn the OSPF routes that is the thing even I didn't notice in initial of the ticket it's not an issue after redistributing the RIP routes into OSPF the R1 able to see the this route the distribution switch 1 distribution switch 2 routes so it can it can reply the packet uh, because it, it knows the routes where to forward it previously this uh, R1 didn't learn any route of uh, DSW1 and DSW2 the RIP route so it uh, doesn't know how, where to forward the packet the packet is getting to R1 and it is getting dropped in R1 itself because it doesn't know where to forward the packet now R1 know where to forward the packet because now RIP route was advertised to YSPF and YSPF knows uh, the root root as well as in R1 so it is redistributing so this is the answer 1 it's issue at R4 answer 2 will be IPv6 root distribution actually this is IPv6 root distribution so, but in 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 uh, exam you will get if you are didn't see the IPv6 root distribution if you are seeing only YSPF you can choose YSPF because under YSPF only you are going to redistribute ok answer 3 what action we taken? We redistributed. Yeah, we redistributed RIP. Okay. Let's include connected. I use I specify the metric and used connected. It's nothing issue. You can't specify the metric less than 16. Okay. That's all. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe, like it. This is the last ticket. And the next video, uh, it will be really helpful for you. I'm not going to solve any issues. Just it's the exam point of view. I'm going to take all the 16 tickets 
and we, we, we are going to identify the issue in a quick manner uh, uh, we are going to see only the answers identify see the ticket how to uh, troubleshoot in exam just follow the steps and identify the answer directly go to the multiple choice question choose the answer and go to the next you no need to do anything because in exam you will get a only limited time to words uh, trust me uh, within one hour we are going to solve all the 60 tickets 16 tickets in exam also it is going to help you if you practice in such a way and download the topology and practice in such a way before going to exam you sure i will say that you are going to rock in exam thank you thank you for watching this video